guys, Dave from Midwest Sports, and uh, here to take a look at a, uh, I guess a, you could say a new entry into performance tennis shoes. So everybody's known Lacoste for uh, a long, long time as a heritage tennis brand, and for a long time really known more for apparel than anything else. Well, 2021 marks the uh, entry of Lacoste into two additional tennis categories. Uh, one was rackets, uh, I got those in uh, I think in February. And now we've got performance tennis footwear. So the important thing to note here is that this is very much a top of the line performance shoe. Uh, in fact, the launch date coincided with uh, Daniil Medvedev walking out on court in them for the first time at the Miami Open. So uh, this is a shoe that uh, Daniil wears on court. So kind of legitimizes the product I think like they've never had before. Lacoste made performance tennis shoes a few years ago. And I think because they never really got any tour presence, the consumer reception to it was a little bit lukewarm. So uh, this is definitely a shoe that you can take out on the court, play hard in. Uh, it doesn't just look good, it performs as well. Um, I was fortunate enough to get an early playtest pair of these at the end of last year. So I've been playing in them for a few months and um, normally I'm a Nike player, full disclosure. I'm not paid to say that, that's just what I've worn forever. So uh, good, bad or otherwise, I think Lacoste stacks right up there with the top offerings from Nike, from Adidas, from Asics. Again, this is just opinion, not paid to say this, but um, just really strong uh, entry for their first entry back into performance tennis shoes for a number of years. So uh, if we look at some of the details, outsole, we've got Goodyear rubber. They make tires, tires are durable. So it's a very durable outsole. So far, I've not seen much wear on this. It's got really, really good traction. Um, you could probably get away with doing a little bit of clay play with this. It's got a nice modified herringbone design, but End of the day, very durable, good year. Um, midsole, you got a very nice responsive foam uh, heel and forefoot. Uh, I don't know exactly the trade name for it, but when you put it on, you definitely feel it. So the shoe feels uh, pretty plush when you put it on uh, for a tennis shoe. That's saying something because a lot of them feel like uh, stiff as a board and kind of heavy. Uh, this does not feel like that. Um, so uh, another nice feature of the uh, AGLT21 Ultra is just nice blend of mesh and synthetics in the upper, so it keeps it very breathable. Uh, there's very little break in with the shoe. I mean, you can really just put it on out of the box and go get after it. Uh, one nice thing about it too is even though it is a, uh, a breathable shoe, easy to break in, still feels very stable. Uh, they actually use a sort of a shank concept. The material is called PVAX. And actually, I believe Babolat over the years has used a similar, uh, I believe they use the same material actually, just to stabilize the midfoot of the shoe. So it allows it to, uh, they take weight out by removing kind of the middle section, but because that, that shank is still in the middle of the shoe, it still keeps it very, very, very stable uh, for all the lateral movements that you have in tennis. So just a really nice package all around. Um, I found it to be true to size. I wear a size 10 with Nike. I wear the same thing in this, medium width. You know, if you've got a wider foot, uh, may not be the best shoe for that, but um, it is a medium width, so it's gonna fit most people. Again, very minimal break-in, very uh, very good to go right out of the box. Seen on court on the ATP Tour, probably be some uh, WTA players coming as well, but uh, really strong entry uh, back into the performance tennis shoe marketplace. Um, this is the Lacoste AGLT21 Ultra.